Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get more leads using ChatGPT and Google Trends. Watch this. This video is dedicated to my friend, Darren Marion, who passed away November 14th, 2021. I love you, brother. Guys, I got a great way to find new keywords to rank for that uh, you could do it yourself. It's going to be super easy. So my name is Brett Maletta. I'm from MindSaw. This is my company, and I specialize in getting um, customers just like you in the Google 3-pack. That's right here. This is the most clicked area in Google for local um you know, for local searches with cabinet stores, electricians, lawyers, whatever it is. So in this video, what I'm going to show you is I am actually going to show you how to use uh, Google Trends and how to use ChatGPT to come up with amazing content for brand new pages that you could rank for. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so I got a brand new easy lesson for how to find keywords, brand new keywords in your particular area that people are looking for your service for, and it's free, and it's and it's very easy to use, and you could do it yourself. So why don't we hop on over to uh, Google Trends? I think that Google Trends is, is the most unutilized tool you know, out of all the Google products. But what Google Trends is going to do, it's going to let you know what is trending in your area. So if we just go to trends.google.com, we just want to put in a keyword that you'd like to rank for or related terms, right? So in this example, I'm going to use kitchen cabinets. It doesn't matter what keyword you use as long as it's associated with your business and you feel it's important to your business just put that keyword into google trends right here all right so now we're on google trends we go to step two which is we're just going to change this box right here where it says past day and let's let's change that to the past 90 days all the other uh Boxes are correct. All categories, that's fine. And stay with web search for now. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you are going to find your state. All right, guys. So I'm going to go very slow here for this step. It's not hard at all. What you want to do is, like I said before, you want to find your um, you want to find your state. So in this example, I'm going to use Arizona. So I clicked. Arizona, right? Easy enough. Scroll down, right? Scroll down. And if you see your city here, so, all right, we'll use Phoenix. If you see a city here, you could click it, right? Scroll down. And then it has the the uh, cities inside, you know, your, 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 your main city. And what I'd like you to do right here is I'd like you to change rising i'd like you to change that to top all right and let's go to the next step all right guys so we're starting to see some interesting stuff here right i see something that's that's um really interesting to me i would have never thought if i installed kitchen cabinets i would have never thought to uh use the key term Lowe's kitchen cabinets. So what I would do is I would do a comparison between my kitchen cabinets and Lowe's kitchen cabinets. If there's no difference, maybe the warranty is different. There has to be something different about what you do and what Lowe's does, right? But meanwhile, you could be abckitchencabinets.com slash Lowe's kitchen cabinets, right? So that's that's interesting. Okay, so let's get back to what we were talking about here. So, so we have it. We have now top right. We selected top, and now we want to click the keyword that's most uh, uh, relates to what we're trying to do. So, this keyword is uh, kitchen cabinet. All right, great. Uh, it, it, it appears to be trending right now. So we're gonna click it right here okay and we are going to scroll down 
All right. All right. We're doing good. Okay. So now once again, what we're going to do is we're going to change rising and we're going to change that to top. Now you're going to notice on the right hand side, related queries, there is some, there's some good stuff here also. So, you know, feel free to play around with this as well. Okay. So I'll probably do another lesson on, on that as well. So we're over here with related topics. We just click top. Right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a CSV file. Right. And what it's going to do is it's going to grab all the related topics that have to do with uh, kitchen cabinets. Right. So a, a, an article speaking about kitchen cabinets will have the word paint and maybe a color and the type of kitchen cabinet wood. Right. So we're going to we're going to have chat GPT write an article or uh, I'm sorry, a web page, and they're going to sprinkle in all these key related topics. So it's going to be super focused on the keyword uh, kitchen cabinets. Hey, man, be a cool cat and subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and share it. Thank you. All right, guys. So now here comes the good stuff. We have these related topics. These are all the uh, entities all that, that Google's looking for that relates to your main keyword, which is kitchen cabinets. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tap this uh, uh, CSV file right here. And what I like to do, and I know a lot of people hate that, is we are going to click, I put it on my desktop. I put it on my, I delete them once a week, but I put it on my desktop so I could find it. So let's put it on a desktop, click save, and we'll uh, catch you in the next slide. All right, guys. So. What I noticed is that there's no place to upload a CSV. So what I did was I just copied. I just scrolled down. I held the mouse down and I just copied all the keywords, right? All, all the all the entities, right? And what I told ChatGPT, let me show you what I told, what I asked them. I said, look, here are a bunch of um, here are a bunch of keywords, right? Here are a bunch of keywords. So there are all the keywords. And I asked them, I said, please include these keywords in the article and also uh, uh, please include H tags when you're creating the article. And it wrote a fantastic article. So let me show you right here, the evolution of kitchen cabinetry in Phoenix, Arizona. How's that for an H1 tag? Right. And there you go. Look how great this article is. It's it's including all the it's it's including all the entities that I that I copied and paste that I pasted. Right. So all I did was for people that don't know what I mean, is I just copied all these keywords. Right. That. That were in my CSV file. And I just pasted them right right in here, right clicked and I pasted them in here. And then I just asked ChatGPT to write a thousand word article. Please include H tags, right? Because that's these right here. And th here we go, we're ready to go. We could take this and put it right on our website. How's that? Uh, I hope this lesson was clear. If you have any questions, please leave it below maybe my answer will, will answer somebody else that had a similar question. Please like and share this video, subscribe to the channel. And uh, like we say in every video, it's great, you know, to learn about ChatGPT and it's great to, you know, uh, do all these tricks to find different keywords and, and get more calls. But let's face it, why are we doing that? We're doing that so we could spend more time with our, with our family, right? So be good to your family, kiss your wife, kiss your kids, clean up around the house, walk the dog, do all the good stuff, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.